everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So if you're new here and you've just stumbled across this video, then my name is Shannon and this is my boyfriend Ben. Hello. Um, on this channel we do all sorts of days out, travelling vlogs and all that malarkey. So if you like that sort of stuff then make sure to subscribe. But today we have come to Colchester Zoo. And it looks like we have picked the worst, the best day. What are you talking Sorry, the about? Best the best day for it. Take a look at this. Oh yeah, so much fun. In all fairness, hold on. Nah, stop, stop. You love the rain. There is a reason why we're here. We didn't just wake up and go. Ah, oh, seems good. like a nice day for the zoo. We're doing a keeper shadowing experience. Ben bought it for me for my birthday last year and we've only just got around to doing it. Yeah, we've only, we planned it quite a while ago though, didn't we? We've had it for a while. But, but we knew we wanted to do it when the weather would be nice, so we booked it for May. But yeah, we are doing a keeper shadowing experience that Ben bought me for my birthday and the animal I have chosen, can you guess? Can you guess what it is? I chose penguins because I love penguins because I'm a loser. So we're doing that, that actually starts about half past ten. It's just gone half past nine now, but the zoo opens at half past nine, which is why we're here. We're gonna go straight in. We're gonna go and do the keeper shadowing experience with the penguins, first of all. Probably go and get something to eat, because I'm a little bit hungry. I'm hungry. Didn't have breakfast this morning, because we always forget to have breakfast in the mornings. We've also booked, I say booked, it's not really a booking, well it is now. It is now. You used to be able to just like queue up to go and feed the giraffes and the, ze and the, elephants. And the elephants, but you can't do that anymore, you have to book it, so we booked it, we booked it for the elephants. So we've also got that at half past two today as well, so. Good stuff coming up. Yeah, we'll take you through the whole day at the zoo, and in the meantime, we're gonna go and do the keeper shadowing experience with the penguins. I'm nervous. Oh, I am too. Here we go. Okay, so we checked in at the experience desk with this lovely lady and she let us through to the zoo. Um, we got little like vouchers for food and everything and apparently there's a little something waiting for us before we leave the zoo at the end of the day. So I'm excited about what that is because I don't know what that is. And then we've just come back to this little door that she told us to wait by. We've got to ring the buzzer and then we go in, meet the keeper and then start the experience. So. I'll be passing the vlog over to this guy. It almost looks like a spa in here. Like it, it looks, looks so fancy, nice. doesn't it? I look like a magazine. <laughs> It was so much fun. It probably didn't look like much on film, to be fair, but she said so much about them, didn't she? It was just enjoyable. Just you learnt, yeah, you learnt loads about them. And they were like this close to your finger when you were feeding them. Yeah. I was a little bit gutted that you weren't in the enclosure, but when she was explaining the reasons why, it then kind of made sense. sense and I kind of respected that and was probably more comfortable with that. Yeah. I just would have liked for them to be flipping at my feet. But it was really good. She was really lovely as well. She was really helpful. But yeah, that was my little birthday present. So it thank you very much. And good news, the sun's coming out. Sun is coming out. So we're going to go take a walk around the rest of the zoo, try and get in as many of the little encounters as we can, hoping that that means we'll see more animals, right? Yep. We've also got, like we said before, 
um, our elephant feed at half past two. So yeah, really excited. But I think we're coming up to Bears of the Rising Sun. So whether we'll see one or not, I don't know. Probably not. Pretty sure we were last here. We, we didn't. didn't. <laughs> no, I think we spent quite a while trying to find them. <laughs> We've just found the Amma Leopard. I think that's how you say it anyway. He's over there. Oh. Quick before the school trip comes. He's snoozing. We found the lemurs. They're all cuddling up. Look. Oh, how cute! He is munching and having the best time. That's what I want to be doing. <laughs> We've just come round the other side to see the um, lemurs. Look on <laughs> their little tails. <laughs> so cute. We found Ben's favourite, and he's right there. There he is. They usually come in pairs, though, don't they? So is there a second one? Must be a second one somewhere. We stay here all day. Yeah. <laughs> There's the other one. Where? You can kind of see red in the background. He's up there. There's one here. And there's one up there. Should we go up the top and see if we can see him? I don't know if you can get up there, can you? Can you see him? Oh. He's walking away. He's going right down to where we just was. That is good timing. <laughs> We're just running around trying to find these red pandas. Let's just come up here now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> There's a safari. We did the safari last time, didn't we? So. We keep finding different views of the lemurs. <laughs> oh my god, this monkey's back there. Yeah, you go around that side, you see. Can you see that? There's a baby on his back. There's a little baby. Is that a lion? Yeah. No. Yeah, they're only over there. Should we go over there then? Yeah, come on. Oh my goodness, look at them all playing. Oh, I can't cope. Look at him sunbathing. Living his best life. There he is. <laughs> it feels like he's walking right at us. <laughs> it's really scary. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, is he sad? Probably because he's a woman. He does. Oh my god. Witness that. That was, that was insane. Two people just came up behind us to take a picture and he just laid down. We obviously just turned up at the right time. That was crazy. I've never seen like a lion roar like that. Not even when we saw all the lions when we went to Longley. No. Or the, the, the West Midland Safari. It had a little sign on the window and it said that. Um, he, the lioness had just recently passed, so he was on his own. And it actually makes me really emotional. I think he might have been like crying for her. That's so sad. Oh, that was amazing to see though, wasn't it? That, that was insane. We've now come to the Australian rainbows, which is where you can um, feed the little, I think they're, are they called lorikeets? <laughs> I'm very scared. <laughs> Keats. I think that's what they're called, aren't they? Um, it was pretty crazy in there, so I did stop filming pretty quick. And then when we came out, my camera did something weird, um, and we ended up going onto YouTube and finding a fix. Um, 
a 12 year old boy making a video that could help me and it he worked. helped me. <laughs> so now we have a working camera. I was like, I'm gonna have to film the rest of the day on my phone and the quality is gonna be she crap. Um, so we just had a sit down. Um, we sorted it. Yeah, had a bit of something to drink, sorted the camera out. And we're back in business. <laughs> so it's about 12 o'clock, so it's midday. We are heading now towards the, yeah, the tigers. We've still got quite a bit of time before. Our elephant thing. Um, yeah, our elephant thing. So then we're going to start walking up. After we've seen the tiger, we're going to start walking up towards um, like the, the edge of Africa section. Honestly, I feel like normally when we go around zoos, we do it in such a strategic way. And I know what we're doing and where we're going and what we've covered. Today, I feel like we've just... Wondered. Yeah, we're just kind of all over the place today. So we do apologise. This is not the best way to go around the zoo. Also, there's um, yeah two giant school trips today. Um, it's not fun, <laughs> as you can imagine. Whoa! It's crazy how big they are when they're up close to you. You don't even realise, do you? Ben. Oh my God! She walks away. He's <laughs> scared of you. Shut up. Whoa. Oh my god. So cool. We're waiting for the wolf encounter. And I think the wolves are waiting for the wolf encounter. <laughs> they're, they're waiting for something. They're as hungry as I am. <laughs> We have Torfi, uh, Tala and Asta. So Asta is our dominant female. She's the one that's got the white around her face, we call her cappuccino girl. <laughs> and she's the one that will stand and smile at you as well. Now this line in front of you, the metal line, is a bit of a washing line. So we use that to hang um, some of our carcasses. Or if we have, like, say, a leg joint or something like that, we like to hang that up. Uh, we never really like to make it very easy for our animals here to find the food. It's called enrichment. Now, enrichment is to encourage natural behaviours. So that brings me to the end of the talk. Thank you for listening. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Not enjoy the rest oh of the day. Thank you. We just watched the um, grey wolf encounter. It was actually really good. They were really active um, and they were really up close to the um, like to the barrier. Yeah, and right. last time we were here, we didn't get to see them, did we? Nah, so, it was really good. Yeah, we're really happy about that. Now we're going to head up towards the edge of Africa. So it's like a slow walk up to where we need to be for the elephants. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do that and I think Ben is getting hungry. So we're going to stop for something to eat soon as well. There's a little place up the top there. Actually. Is there? You can sit and overlook at the things. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that way is towards the um, elephant feed, we believe. But for now, we're going to go this way. Kingdom of the wild. Yes. Do you know what's in here? Wild things. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. You're on top form today. These are all the things we're going to see out here. We've already just seen the ostriches because they scared the life out of us. You can see these already. Just there. The giraffes are over there. They're very cute. And then there's rhinos and zebras over there. I don't think we've said, when the last time we were here, the first time we were here together, was on our second ever date we came here and there was a baby rhino and it was really cute and it was running round all down there. It was adorable. Shannon asked me to marry her. On date two? Yeah. You're funny. I think the big guy was getting way too close to the baby rhino because Looks like mum and dad are screwing up to each other over here. Oh dear. We just heard a big growl as well, didn't we? Look oh, at him stepping back. 
just protecting his little one. Oh. Oh dear. What? <gasps> There's lots of little poop for babies. <laughs> um, so cute. I'm excited to feed the elephant. We've found where we've got to go for the elephant feed. It's literally just here. We're going to go find something to eat in the meantime. Use our money. <laughs> so we just went to a place called Gourmet Sausage. And we've got ourselves a German bratwurst hot dog and a portion of chips. We used our vouchers, which we had £10 worth. Yes, we did. And it only cost us £10.50, so it cost us 50p. <laughs> Result. That was with a drink as well, by the way. I forgot to add that. We're sat in a little sunspot, aren't we? In sunbathing, we've just showed our confirmation of the elephant feed and we've washed our hands. We've got about 10 minutes until we go in. You can't even see, can you? But we have, we are definitely catching some rays whilst we're waiting, which is it's lovely. It's very much of a change for the rain we had this morning. Yeah. But yeah, um, going in to feed the elephants. Here we go. What have they got? They've got parsnips and carrots. I'm hungry now. Yummy. <laughs> really good I yeah. mean she was slobbery wasn't she yeah, she was, was slobbery but it was really good it was quite a good interaction actually it only cost us 20 pound extra um, you can do up to groups of five with that 20 quid so yeah yeah so it's, that's 20 pound for the group isn't it yeah. it's not per person, per person so, so if you've got a big group you go for it we only did two so but you've even got three more people than that yeah so it was really good okay the shades are on it's very hot we've just had some ice cream and we're gonna head up to nearer the front of the park, or the front of the zoo, I keep calling it a park, and watch the sea lion encounter, because that's one bit that we haven't done yet, so I think that's going to be the last bit, and then I think we're going to end on that and call it a day. Patagonian sea lions. They're all named after different cities across the world. We've got Sydney, Winnipeg, Atlanta, Milan, and Paris. And they've all got very different personalities. So Sydney is a superstar sea lion. She actually loves her training. Just... She'll do anything for training and attention from her trainers. Uh, however, when it comes to her enrichment fees, she will do absolutely nothing. We've got smaller and larger sea lions amongst our group. Um, but of course, it is divided between all these different floats and barrels, and they have to try and work out, of course, where we put the devices. Obviously, sometimes we make it easy, we put it in the water, uh, but sometimes we'll put them on the rock work, we'll hide them on that right hand side piece over there, we'll sometimes hide them under the waterfall, to the side. Oh no! Oh, no. We'll sometimes <laughs> even put them up high as well. So, and of course, we've done said we do use training with our sea lines. The training method we use is something known as positive reinforcement. It basically means every time that our sea lines cooperate with us, they do something is desirable, something we've asked for, then they're going to get lots of attention, lots of brownies and lots of food. And um, I'm not sure where they're going because I'm over here. Um, <laughs> so uh, we can also <laughs> ask them to open up their mouths nice and wide, we can check their teeth, their tongue, their gums, everything inside their mouths, making sure everything is nice and healthy in there too. I'll be hanging out on the top platform for a little bit longer, if you've got any questions feel free to come on over and I'll answer any questions that you may have. But for now, from myself, Sydney, Winnipeg, Atlanta, <laughs> Milan and Paris, thank you very much for coming along. And have a wonderful rest of your day here at Colchester Zoo. And we're done. Done. We just see the um, sea lions do their little enrichment feed, which was nice. We saw the encounter for that, which is quite a nice way to finish off the day. Yep. And it's so sunny. I guess it's in the sun. So sunny. We just went back by the um, gift, like the experience day. Check what do you call that? Check in. That's it. Check in desk. Because she said to come back there after we'd finished. And we've got a little goodie bag each. And they get little mugs in them. So when we get in the car, I'm going to show you 
the mugs because we were able to choose out of three. They didn't have any penguin ones, but they had giraffe, elephant, and tiger. I chose the giraffe one, and Ben chose the tiger one, so I'm gonna show you. So this was the mug that I got, little giraffe one, which I thought was really cute. Probably gonna give it to my sister because she loves giraffes. And then Ben picked up the tiger one. Which is really nice as well. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? That's my favourite. They're really cute. And we're home. We've had a really nice day, haven't we? Mm. I still can't believe that we A fed penguins today. B fed elephants today, which was really good. And then C we saw a lion roar. Like a lot. We've had like a really good zoo day today. Like I feel like we've seen so many animals that have been active rather than hiding in the background and that. And I think that must have just been because of the weather. We were really lucky for the weather as well. It's very hot and sweaty, so I am going to go and get changed and end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you soon in the next one. Say bye. Bye. Bye.